I'm Sergio Mendez, a.k.a. Magic City Pacino. I'm Alexa Lash from Miami, Florida. Hey, I'm Mike Esses from Scarsdale, New York. Hey, I'm Seabass Matar from Miami, Florida. And this is the Local Sounds Podcast. This is the Local Sounds and you're Podcast. you're listening to the Local Sounds Podcast. The Local Sounds Podcast. Sounds Podcast. My great friend, Mr. Taylor Davis. My friend, Davis. Taylor Davis. And my friend, Taylor Davis. My good friend, Taylor Davis. Good evening again out there, my quarantiners. This is your friend Taylor Davis, and we are back with episode two of this limited edition podcast, Local Sounds. If you're just joining us, let me catch you up. What's the point of the podcast? What's the reasoning behind this whole entire thing? I spoke last week on the real genesis point of this whole podcast and process, which was to highlight music from friends of mine, not only in this country, but around the world that make great music of all different types. If you listened to episode one and you're back with us again, thanks a million for joining us once again. Uh, Some of you know we kicked off last week with Authority, fantastic songs from great underground artists, and I hope some stories that you all enjoyed as well. Tonight we are back again with 11 artists this time with music ranging all over the spectrum, bands, acoustics, hip-hop, pop, and more. Uh, So without any more messing around, let's get this thing kicked off. I decided early on in this experience that I was going to kick off the playlist with bands. I love the idea of tearing the walls down right away and giving you something that makes you feel alive. Uh, Let's try to do that right now. Uh, We're starting again this week with another band from New Jersey, Levy and the Oaks, a name I saw for the first time on a flyer at Russo Music in Asbury Park. I was in town on a summer tour last June with Jared Clemens, and we went to Russo a lot during that time to buy picks and really just look around and play any guitar that we could. Uh, Levy and the guys, Nick... Owen, Lou, and Chris, they had a residency at the time at the Asbury Park Yacht Club on the boardwalk. I believe it was every Sunday at the time. I told Jared I wanted to make sure that at some point during the tour that we made it there. Uh, I hadn't heard the guy's music, but to be honest, these guys, they look cool as fuck on the flyer, and I had to see what the whole thing was all about. That night, Jared and I had a show that ran late. We rushed our way down to the boardwalk afterwards to try to catch the guys, but we had missed the set, and everybody was gone. Uh, It was really the show that never was for us. Uh, Fast forward less than a year later, now that very set of shows in that residency is now streaming for the world to hear as Levy and the Oaks live from Asbury Park. And I'll tell you, it's the one show that I wished I would have experienced in person. Uh, Levy and the band literally have a musical party from start to finish, and you're lucky if you get invited to this party because it's memorable. Some songs to me were a revelation, talking in your sleep, slowly in the water, and of course, a killer version of The Who's, Bob O'Reilly. A few months ago, I reached out to Levy to tell him about my appreciation for him and the band's music and his solo stuff as well. I told him I figured with both of us being guys in Asbury that we could shoot the shit about music. He obliged and honestly couldn't be a nicer dude. Let's start the night off with a song about being free and understanding that being yourself is the best thing that you can be. This is Levy and the Oaks live from Asbury Park with Drag Show. I'm 
underground The lights are pretty and so am I A man's man, not a girl dressed as a guy A boy dressed as a lady He didn't try, they took him there And at the track show he was a disco girl far enough to know that you can get a long way with a handful of chords. A conversation between me and one of my music friends might go like this. Wow, can you believe that this song and that song and this song are all the same song? It's truly amazing what you can do with just a few chords. I realize more and more as I get older how much I love the idea of the artist on stage giving you his song with a couple chords. Uh, the simplicity and the beauty of that is everything. I know Dylan made the transition to a different sound that required more pieces, and it was great. And who knows, maybe the same will happen to me. Uh, but what am I listening to late at night right now, looking for inspiration for my next song? It's the storytellers that tell great stories and write great songs with just a few chords. This next guy does that really well, and uh, to be honest with you, he's one of the people I'm listening to the most right now in Miami. I think I can fairly say, I believe that maybe because of the guy's quiet nature around the scene, we might have slept on him a little bit. Uh, big mistake for sure, and we're learning that right now during this quarantine. Uh, but thankfully, he hasn't seemed to be too pissed off about it, I hope. Uh, Mitchell Gonzalez, he tells stories and makes music that I could picture in some of my favorite Wes Anderson movies. I feel like when I listen to Mitchell's songs, I'm reminded of the beauty that is heartbreak songs. In the recordings, I hear the influence of the great Daniel Johnson on Mitchell's music and the beauty that is lo-fi recording. Uh, Mitchell recently played with me on my version of John Prine's Hello in there. And I gotta say, the picking nearly matched the original recording, as Mitchell does in all kinds of giant songs. Here comes the sun. Don't think twice, it's all right, just to name a few. Uh, simply mind-blowing. This next song, I haven't been able to stop singing. It's off of his last EP, Finite Sunshine of the Spotted Mind, which you can get everywhere. This is Mitchell Gonzalez with Type of Love. the time 
ship of love that leaves me senseless Wearing all my t-shirts inside out That's probably what means the most to me with the music. I'm a words guy. I've been writing stuff since I was like six years old. Short stories, poetry, student films, screenplays, you name it. Uh, But songs really stuck with me because it wasn't Hemingway writing my favorite stories. It was Dylan, Springsteen, Fogarty, Jackson Brown, Tom Petty, etc., Uh, It's a constant journey I think you embark on your whole life with songwriting, you know. Some are born with it, some have to spend their whole lives trying to get it, and then the people that fall in between. I believe this next artist really was born with it. I've been friends with Ali for quite some time, and let's just say the live performance is something very, very personal. It's a peek inside the diary, it feels like at times. 
Uh, Lee's the closest thing I've seen to a Joni Mitchell type figure in my life so far, and I hope you all know how much weight that statement carries. I've seen the performance not only with the keys, but with the guitar as well, and the songs, oh wow, the songs. Uh, She looks like snow, but she's an avalanche. She takes off her clothes. Oh, there's nothing left. Uh, A lyrical image of everything and nothing. About three months ago, Ali and I sat down to write a song together, and I couldn't get over how efficient the process was, especially for a guy that can take three or four months to write a song. Uh, the type of song we created out of thin air. I think this is, out of all of Ali's talents, the most special one. The ability to put together these amazing songs out of thin air. Ali spends time in Nashville, Miami, and New Jersey, so hopefully you can make it out to see her in her travels. This is Ali with Natalie. Natalie gets home after nine from the diner on the west side of town. Why she had to go red lip back out to black out the night. To black out the night She used to be a straight A Dean's list College graduate with a golden heart But now she's dancing Can't miss Dropping low for anyone asking And I can't go back to the start And we're all wondering first memorable shows when I arrived in Miami was for a group called Backroom Sessions. It was an event of musicians and other artists at Nowhere Studios, August of 2018. 
For those that don't know about Backroom Sessions, this is an integral group in the art and music scene here in Miami. Uh, They curate some of the town's best events and are highly responsible for the growth of so many artists. I met Boz and Angelina, the two hard workers behind Backroom Sessions, through social media. I inquired about one of their shows, sent them some of my stuff, and hoped for the best. Not long later, Boz reached out to me, and he put me on the show. I remember that night feeling after I walked off stage after playing in front of one of the most attentive crowds I had ever played for that I was actually making some ground in Miami. None of this would have been possible without Boz and Angelina giving me a shot, which is something I will never, ever forget. We've done so much together since that time, it's really amazing to think about. Aside from being one of the hardest workers behind the scenes here in Miami, Boz is also himself a very talented lyricist and artist. He's been a part of many of my curated shows, and he always delivers on stage. For me, it's Boz's voice on his songs that really make him stand out. Don't get me wrong, the words and the beats are great. But something about Boz's delivery, the pure swagger, and the way he raps in a flow that you know is his. These are the things that make him one of my favorite hip-hop guys in the city. So that's about it. This is Boz Mason with Don't Think. All right, so, so you could uh, understand how I'm going to do this set. I'm going to uh, teach myself this piano and then play it for my like set so I can do it live. Ladies and gentlemen, I wrote this song back in 2013 to tackle one of the biggest depressions I ever had in my life. I'd like to invite you guys to that side. Too much heat, my sweat glands got stress, man. Can't stress, man. Too busy, wanna be the best, man. Engage your shit for some less scam. My mom feels stressed, say yes, ma'am. Buy a crib, that's the next plan. For now, I gotta make my best brand. And my brand blessed, set my voice blessed. Success only home when your family rests. Work hard, work hard, and take attributes from my late father. Ain't in the grave, but he been away. Worked so damn hard, had to get away. But I made a way, make absent state and create ambush from far away. Last conversation we ever had was about this girl that had me mad. She had my heart, but she had me sad, stop that shit, I never flag my white flag for that right stand surrender my soul for some nights, man, and I love her heart when she kiss me soft, pray every night she miss me off, but I'm getting off this greyhound, been stuck too long this grey ground, these jungle gyms my playground got nothing left to do but say now, yeah right now, I gotta change, for my mind start getting strange, I felt the pain I felt the rain, been soaked so long my skin been stained She losing me, can't find myself to go and breathe You not by me, we stand by me, oh watch me go Being you from the start, can't let you go My deck, your heart, can't let you fall Spend love on the mic, thought I'll let you know I want you, my wife, get old and grow But it's too long that you've been here Trust, trust, issues brought true fear But trust the picture, it's too dear It's true, dear, it's you, dear Can't get too far unless you near Since grade, been my one mate You call it love, a quiet fate My time on your watch, I'm never late Your lips on my lips, always feeling great Don't let me dance alone if I come in late And I've complained, I fucked up But you the only one that's bucked up Feel the sun up till the sun's down Hold your every night is a must now Stole my heart, get the cuffs now This shit much more than lust now Ladies and gentlemen Thank you for tuning in I almost lost it for a second I'm glad I was able to find my way Not everybody gets a chance to In the process of making this song today We learned that we lost the young king R.P. to X
great food, mom and pop restaurants. These are crucial parts of any tour, in my opinion, and one of my favorite parts. Whether it's the Busy Bee Cafe in Coleman, Alabama, or Gino Steaks in Philly, or Frank's in Asbury Park, New Jersey, just to name a few of my favorites. But one of the best, in my opinion, is a small little spot in Bradley Beach, New Jersey, called the Buttered Biscuit. Oh man, the best corned beef hash that I have ever had, and I'm a connoisseur. Uh, this place also plays a significant part in the story of this next artist. I walked into the biscuit one morning, hung over after a show, looking for coffee and eggs. Sitting at the corner of the bar seat was Matt Cook. Long blonde hair, bushy beard, and right away I could tell he had an infectious personality. Uh, he introduced himself to me and reminded me that we had met before, I want to say, at Danny Clinch's Transparent Gallery. Even before I met Matt, I had heard his name on the scene and knew he was a prominent player. Uh, he was a frequenter at the Asbury Hotel soundstage, and he also got me a gig in a pinch at Stay Gold Cafe in Howe. The first time I saw Matt Cook live, I ran back and forth between the Jake Clemens show at the Stone Pony and Matt playing at the same time at the soundstage. When I showed up, he was playing piano and running through a few songs off of his last album. Immediately, you could hear the beautiful melodies and lovely key changes in Matt's music. Ones I'm sure were inspired by his love of Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys. But not only that, the lyrics were great at putting things in a way you think about but usually never verbalize. Lines like, life is a lesson, we continue learning who we are. Uh, isn't that the truth? Let's make one thing clear. Guys like me, we use our voice the best we can to support the songs that we sing. Matt, on the other hand, actually has a classically good voice for music, and his songs feel like essential California. But to be honest with you, I don't hear New Jersey music without thinking of Matt Cook. Matt is also a healthcare worker right now during this pandemic and is actually putting his ass on the line every day for people during this scary, scary time. Matt, thank you for your service if you're listening, and we appreciate all that you do for us. So with those thoughts in mind, let's get back to some music. This is Matt Cook and his newest single, Betterment. To be light in a dark and broken world It's not a burden but a prayer that I've been told I see you standing there inside a mirror Fireworks Life is a lesson we continue learning who we are Like a car on the open road Oh 
still gather to the rhythm of your heart I believe we're gonna dance together to the rhythm of your heart I believe we're gonna dance together to the rhythm of your heart I believe we're gonna dance together to the rhythm of your heart from a pumpkin patch Gonna find a perfect match And as you cross life's borders I'll lift you up on my shoulders And it all comes down to you Even though you didn't want it to And if I'm stuck in your Some of the best couple days in my life. Who would have thought January was going to be some of the last normal time that we would have of 2020? Well, if that's the case, I can't complain too much because I had a blast and it was truly life-changing. Over the course of the few days, I got a chance to really get to know some folks that I only kind of knew through social media. One family I got to know was the Rotellas, David and his son, Evan. I had heard about Evan from Bobby Mahoney. Bobby has a real way of inspiring us in our circle, and uh, Evan probably does the best job at showing it. He's taken it upon himself to cover some of Bobby's songs, which is no easy task, I'll tell you, and he does them with more than justice. Not only that, but the kid clearly has an understanding of how to write great songs far beyond his years. His inspirations of guys like Brian Fallon and Springsteen put me and him in a very similar category. Except, this guy already has a grown man voice at such a young age and experience in his songs as if he's already lived a long life. How does that happen? I don't know. But I do know that Jackson Brown was 16 when he wrote, Don't confront me with my failures. I have not forgotten them. Quite amazing at 16, huh? Music teaches you that you can learn something from everybody, and Evan has definitely taught me a few things in his playing and in his songs that I intend to use myself. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. All the way from Canada, here is Evan Rotella with All These People. All these people I used to know I wish I knew them now Packing up our bags and heading Off to different towns I wish I'd said goodbye to you Though I didn't know this was it All those things they told us then I wish I'd listen Third eye blind on the radio Humming along to a song It feels like years since I've been here But I know it hasn't been long And now I can hardly breathe Your footsteps on my back Walking me home through the dark in case I go off track All these people I used to know I wish I knew them now Packing up our bags and heading off to different towns I saw Joey just the other day I don't know when I seen him last 
talked about sweet memories and reminiscing about the past. Joey used to get in trouble back then, and at him the whole world would laugh. Well, now he's sitting in his big shot office on the whole world to kiss his ass. All these people I used to know, I wish I knew them now. Packing up our bags and heading off to different towns. These days seem to last forever, but I've heard how quickly they pass. So say a prayer for the ones we've lost and for the ones we've never had. These people I used to know I wish I knew them now Packing up our bags and heading Off to different towns And though these promises may break There's a one that never ends It's like he says in his song Blood Brothers till the end Blood Brothers till the end Now I am a sucker for a love song A happy one, a sad one. Songs filled with heartbreak. Songs filled with the exhilaration of love. But what about the songs dealing with love that ask questions? These are great platforms for songs. And almost every great song has a question in it at some point or another. Even if that question doesn't always get answered. Sometimes it's just good enough to ask the question. Artists like Glass Orange here in Miami do a great job on songs like these. I first saw Glass Orange perform at my acoustics Christmas night in 2018. It was a huge bill, a packed night, a long night, and she really made an impression not only on me, but on the whole audience. Uh, Her name has continued to pop up all around the scene here in Miami, and I suspect that that will continue as we roll on through 2020 and beyond. So let's give you a great example of a lovely song that asks a beautiful question. This is Glass Orange with Is This Love?
change my mind And that's not an easy thing to do Brotherhood and sisterhood is an important part, I think, in growing any scene. Uh, I see a trend of separation of groups by genre and cliques that, in my opinion, are a real cancer to any scene. Groups that say, well, I'll only hang out with these guys or these girls because they do what I do. These things, they tear apart a scene that's trying to grow. The one thing I've always tried to do with my curated events is to bring a vast audience of different folks. When that happens within the artists, the vendors, and the audience, you see true greatness in the scene. Hip-hop guys talking to folk guys, rock bands talking to country bands, etc. It's a beautiful thing and one of the things that makes me truly happy. It's what it's all about. This next guy and his band really know the meaning of brotherhood. Chris Clark was one of the first folks to treat me like a brother within a short amount of time of us meeting, and he immediately showed interest in me and my music. He's been a close compadre since the beginning of my Miami story. Chris's band No Traffic is one of Fort Lauderdale's and Miami's longest sustaining bands, and their music and live performance have already reached outside of the state significantly. Chris and the band have toured the country multiple times in the last few years with great impact. The band is led by Chris's voice, which brings an ode to the early 90s music and their style. People like Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Nirvana, Pearl Jam. Chris is everything that a good frontman should be, and not many folks I see work harder than him at pushing the message of music out to the world. And now, here is my push for Chris and the guys. This is No Traffic with do it all over again.
guy I met in my early days of playing here in Miami was Juan Camilo Palais. I met Juan as a solo player who captivated me with his original songs, his insane knowledge of timing, and how you really deliver on stage when the time is upon you. Long before I saw Juan play for the first time on stage, he was leading his own band, Atajos. One night last year, Atajos was having a reunion show in the green room at Churchill's. They had a few acts on the bill, and folks were very excited to see a great band that hadn't played together in a while play together again. Now keep in mind, this is a Spanish-based band. A few days before the show, Juan called me and asked me to come and play on the bill. Now I never say no to a show, but I was truly amazed, blown away, that I was being asked to play on a show where my music didn't necessarily fit the theme or the bill. It showed me a deep connection that Juan and I have, a mindset of gathering all different types of music and musicians together. No rules, no genre codes, just music. Because it's not genres that make great experiences. It's great music. And here is some great music. This is Juan Camilo Palais with Cam.
took over Monday Night Open Mic at Churchill's a few years ago, I wanted to make sure that the folks that made up the history of the night knew that history matters to me. Of course, the message didn't get through to everybody, but I'm pretty happy with the ones that heard me loud and clear. So I know this next artist as Johnny Diesel, but when he's doing his electronics set, he is eons. Johnny, along with two lifelong friends, run one of Miami's most up-and-coming studio and production companies, River 71 Studios in Little River. Johnny's not only a talented musician, producer, mixer, just to name a few hats that he wears, but I've learned that he understands the language of music like not many others that I know. I like to say it's a second language to him, but sometimes I think it's his first. I spent some time in the studio with Johnny to work on a few things for my upcoming record, and I gotta say, the guy really understands what it means to be a good producer. Support the vision of the artist and guide where you can and where it's necessary. You really couldn't ask for a better guy behind the console to guide you through tough decisions in the studio. Here is something to get you dancing and make sure that you dance your ass off. This is Eons with Signs of Life. final song of the night and I want to end things with a thought in mind. So how do we come out on the other side of this quarantine? 
How do we start living normally again, especially after we all just went through something that none of us have ever been through before? I don't think anyone has a real solid answer to that yet. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about the folks that went into 2020 with someone that they love by their side, and now those folks aren't here anymore. Um, I know how much I love the people close to me, and if anything were to happen to them, it wouldn't be something I'd be able to get over quick, if ever. Uh, I ask that you keep these folks in your thoughts, and if you pray, keep them in your prayers too. This song reminds us of the weight of the nighttime and the effect it can have on the burdens that we lay down with us when we try to go to sleep at night. Mackay is a three-piece, sometimes four-piece band if you add one on the bass, but Mackay is made up of beautiful souls, Leo on the guitar and Amelia on lead vocal and flute, with Alberto Flamini from the original Jones Band on the kit. I met these folks once again at the Church for the Churchless, Churchills. The first thing that drew my attention to the band as I ran around open mic like I usually do, being pulled in a million different directions at once, was the amazing tone Amelia's voice had. Leo's guitar playing raps and winds its way around Amelia's voice so nicely, and Alberto and Juan run the rhythm section with such super timing and gusto. And then wait for it, Amelia pulls the flute out and it's all over from there. The flute floats over the top of the music like fog on a lake. You take in a deep breath and soak it in. My relationship with Leo and Amelia is a very special thing to me and two folks I admire a tremendous amount. So full of love and spirit and you hear it pouring out of their music. So let's pour it out on you right now to end our night. This is Makai with The Pain in the Nights. What's true and what seems to be Forgive me The night and the pain Some fears never go away Our lives to be perfect by Forgive me The night and the pain Night 
concludes episode two of this limited edition podcast series, Local Sounds. Tonight, you guys heard Levy and the Oaks, Drag Show, Mitchell Gonzalez, Type of Love, Ali with Natalie, Boz Mason, Don't Think, Matt Cook with Betterman, Evan Rotella, all these people, Glass Orange, Is This Love, No Traffic, Do It All Over Again, Juan Camilo Pelez with Cam, Eons with Signs of Life, and Makai with The Pain and the Nights. Do me a big favor and go and give these musicians a follow on social media. When things get back to normal and they're in your town, make sure you check out one of their live shows. And if you liked any of the music that you heard tonight, go and download these songs to your playlist. We'll be back next Friday night at our usual time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our last episode of the Local Sounds Podcast. To those that have kept up with the series since the beginning, or those that are joining us now for the first time, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support, and I know the artists feel the exact same way. I'm your host, Taylor Davis. Have a wonderful weekend, and we look forward to seeing you next week for more underground music from my good friends all across the world. Stay safe and stay tuned.